All right, welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can make a free Twitter header for your profile. Now, I guess the idea of this header is that it's very simplistic. There's not a whole lot going on, and this is kind of like the general aesthetic I've seen across like lots of like Fortnite esports players and just stuff like that. And obviously, you know, you guys see the render that I did provide here. Now, you guys can obviously use whatever render you want, and I'll be showing you guys in depth how to like do all that stuff. But we're gonna be using an absolutely free GFX software today. Again, as you guys know, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, we're gonna be using Pixlr, which is a completely free editing software that you don't really need to download anything. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know. But as well as that, I actually went the extra mile in today's video and I did provide you guys the complete background template for this like banner in specific. So you guys don't have to go through and make the banner for yourself. And I don't have to actually show you guys that process in this video. So just for that, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys could, you know, hit that like button, also that subscribe button, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And it goes a long ways. I don't normally do this and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in every single tutorial. So really all you guys have have to do in today's tutorial is you know get the text for your name which I'll show you how to do and then as well as that all you have to do is add in the render and then social media and you will be done and I will go in depth and show you guys how to do all of that in today's video with that being said let's go ahead and just jump into Pixlr and get into this tutorial all right so first thing first we're just gonna go ahead and type in Pixlr now I will have a link in the top of the description to Pixlr e if you guys just want to go from there but once you get here you're gonna get create new and you're gonna go to width 1500 and you're going to go to height and you're going to type in 500 which is essentially just the size for a twitter banner as a lot of you guys probably already know and before we do anything here make sure to go ahead and go to the google drive link in the top of the description of this video and download the font and download the background template as well as that you can download the fortnite render if that's the specific render that you guys do want and make sure to go ahead and just drag that to your desktop or drag it to a folder on your computer where you know how to access it and then all we have to do here is go to layer and go to add image as layer and we just go to wherever we downloaded it. As you guys can see here, it's right on my desktop and I'm gonna go to the background template, Ice Kicks, and it should automatically fit right in. And what you guys need to do now is click on this three dots next to the background template and hit lock and boom, you guys have your background already completely done. So now let's go ahead and focus on getting this Fortnite render in right away and kind of adjusting some effects to it to make it look just a little bit better. But first we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and then you guys just need to find the Fortnite render that I did provide for you guys, or you can use whatever render you guys want, honestly. But once you guys have the Fortnite render in all you need to do is just drag it down in size and you want to make sure it's on fixed so it doesn't mess up the like dimensions of it at all you want to drag it down and make sure the head is just barely touching the top and then I'm gonna use the arrow key and I'm gonna drag it over to the middle so you can't really see the line like where it splits between white and black. Now, as you guys can see here, the skin is pretty dark. So like I wanted to add a little bit of contrast and brightness to it. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm clicked on that render PNG. I'm gonna go to adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of contrast. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of brightness as well. Probably do around like 50 or there. And I'm gonna actually take the contrast out just a little. We're gonna click apply and i think that looks a little bit better than how it did before now let's go ahead and get this drop shadow on it that you guys see in the actual design as you guys can see here it has a little bit of a drop shadow in white so what we're gonna actually do to get that is we're gonna go back to pixlr here i'm gonna make sure i'm again clicked on that render and i'm gonna go to filter and i'm gonna go to drop shadow and i'm gonna click on the color and i'm gonna drag it all the way to white i'm gonna click ok and the opacity at 100%, the blur needs to be at zero. And then I'm gonna put the X on about negative 15 and I'm gonna put the offset Y at about 15, I think that looks about good. And we can kind of adjust it a little bit more if we really wanted to. I'm gonna click okay. As you guys can see, we now have the render done. Oops, I didn't wanna move that. So now we can go ahead and focus on getting the text of your name or my name or whatever you guys wanna put on it. So then all we have to do and make sure again, you guys go ahead and download the font before you even go in here because the font is obviously not gonna show up. If you guys can't download the font from the Google Drive in the description, I will also toss a link in the description to the website where I did download the font. It might be a little bit easier on the Google Drive, but again, I'll provide the website with the font if you guys want the like original source but we're gonna go to the text tool we're gonna click add text and again i have a full tutorial i'll toss the card up again if you guys want to check it out on how to download fonts and install them in pixlr but once you do we're gonna go to stretch pro which is the font that i use again link in the description and i'm just gonna type in ice and then that's literally all i'm gonna do and i'm gonna go to the font tool again because this is a font layer and i'm just gonna drag the size up until it really just fits and we're gonna take it like that. And then all I'm gonna do here is take the ice. And again, if you guys want to like move the text around or if you guys wanna size it a bit differently, you can actually go to layer rasterize text slash element. And then you could go to edit and free transform. 
then you could kind of drag it and stretch it so it does kind of fit the boundaries of the kind of like the stuff going around it. And I'm gonna drag this underneath the render so it kind of gives that effect of it being behind. So we have our text. All that's left really for this tutorial is to go ahead and add our social media right here. So again, in the Google Drive link in the description, I will have all of like the PNGs of like social media icons in white. And once you make sure to download those, all you have to do is go to layer, add image as layer and find those PNGs, which I do have in a GFX assets thing folder right here here but as you guys can see here i have all of them so really all you have to do is click on say like the instagram one drag it over size it down and kind of get it to fit and you guys can basically put whatever social medias i'll have a bunch of them in the description but you can literally put whatever whichever ones you guys use the most on here it really is up to you guys i think that's the best thing about this is the customizability for you and then all you have to do is take another text layer like you guys see in the uh, thumbnail click add and i can put my at which i can do like at ice picks and I'm gonna put this in color white. And I'm gonna drag the size down a tad. And then I'm gonna grab the move tool and I'm just gonna move it all the way over here. And as you guys can see, that's kind of how you can get your handle underneath as well. And yeah, I think that's about it. No, feel free for you guys to like make this how you guys want or to like alter it. You know, I really don't care. But that being said, again, if you guys like this video or found this video helpful at all, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you could hit that little like button down there, we're gonna shoot for maybe like 100 likes on this video. I'd really appreciate it if we can get there. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.